Welcome to. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I a bit nervous. Huh? Hi, I'm Wicked, 26 this year. I'm the owner of Arcade Chicken Rice. We are located at 163 Bukit Merah Central, 0235. We serve the Hainanese chicken rice and the porridge. The dishes that we sell are the Hainanese chicken rice and as well the chicken porridge also. For us, we do the ramen egg. So that's a modern take on the hardboard egg that we usually get at the chicken rice stalls in Singapore. So for our chicken rice, we cook it at a lower temperature. So the chicken meat is tender. So for ramen egg, it's a favourite of mine because I prefer custardy yolks compared to powdery yolks. So where, where do you get like a distinction? I think it comes from the normal breakfast set that you usually get with the dark soy sauce and then you crack it in half. So to me, I'm thinking why, why not do something that's also uh, familiar to us uh, locals. So why not incorporate into something that's also our national dish which is chicken rice. So usually the combinations are the tomato slices or the cucumber. But from what I learned uh, from my mentor was to give the bean sprouts. So over here at Bukit Merah Central, we have a polyclinic nearby. So what we wanted to do was to serve porridge to the elderly as well as those people who probably have difficulty eating. Actually, what I feel that for porridge, it should be cooked with a broth. So we use the chicken rice, the chicken broth that we boil daily to go and cook the porridge. From there, we actually serve with a good amount of proportion of breast because porridge shouldn't have bones in them. So it's easier to eat also. Actually, I learned uh, this chicken rice from um, Mr. Leong at Shunfu, uh, Shunfu Hawker Center. I learned under him through a program under NEA. It's called Incubation Store Program. It was a short two months thin. From there, he taught me the cooking techniques of how to cook the chicken as well as the rice. From him, I learned, I think what was the secret recipe was his chili. Basically, I prefer his chili. That's why actually I, I chose to uh, go under his apprenticeship. I feel that it's more, there's more body to the chili sauce as well as uh, the tangy from the citrus that we add inside also. Actually what started to me out why do I want to open a chicken rice store is because sometimes as a kid I don't know what to eat. I'll always be eating chicken rice. Whenever I go to a coffee shop or kopi tiam, uh, if I don't know what, my mom will always know that hey, is it chicken rice again? So yeah, actually I went to eat chicken I keep eating chicken rice until my family asked me, hey, you go calm eh? So, even in secondary school, I would play like basketball during recess until the last five minutes. Then I would run to the, coffee, the chicken rice store lady. Then she already know what I want already. I don't even need to repeat the order. So that's how actually the answer was in my face the whole time. Well, I think that people my age, we don't really cook on our local dishes anymore compared to maybe what's the trend now is all the fusion and more modern in, in terms of like Japanese cuisine. So I want to preserve chicken rice because I, I prefer the savoury chicken rice compared to the chicken rice that has the sweet sauce. Actually, I'm quite touched that my parents are very supportive because usually when, let's say you, you get a culinary degree or you get any degree and then this is a major career swap, career change. So I'm quite surprised that they are quite encouraging. Like I have my youngest brother here helping, sometimes my mom also. I think initially the challenges was to more of, more of operations. How do we prep the food and then how we serve to the customer. Every step is a challenge. I think the, the space constraint is also a challenge. Thankfully the place here isn't that hot. So it's quite well ventilated. Lah. I think initially it was have to be a bit more thick skin. Lah. Have to go and ask the auntie and uncles how do they find my chicken rice. Because it's a bit unusual for young people to cook this kind of her heritage dishes. They will expect somebody who is more senior. But I, I would say like, Auntie Yusui Xia, give it a try. It Maybe if it's nice, let me know. If it's not nice, let me know where I can improve also. So from then on, actually I get uh, more feedback 
and actually tweak the recipe according to the seniors here also because I think the, the main challenge is to juggle between the office workers that I have here as well as the seniors. Currently, I think the main goal is to keep everything consistent here because consistency is, I think, is a key issue that keeps the regulars from coming back. So for now, I just think I'm going to be here and keep everything, like make sure when the customers come back, they know what to expect from us. Actually, when I was working at Pan American restaurant, I told my chef that I was going to open a chicken rice shop. They were quite supportive. So during staff meal, they actually asked me to cook chicken rice for them and they actually gave me feedback. So during the, the course of time when I was working there, they, they gave me feedback so I tweaked the recipe here and there. I think it's probably a staple. Uh, growing up, people just... I mean like every hawker centre, there's maybe two or three co uh, chicken rice shops. So maybe it's a very common thing in our life. When, when we grow up, even in school canteens, there's also chicken rice shops. So probably something that we grow up eating. And it all comes down to simple components like the chicken, the rice, the chilli and then the soup. So maybe you have all four dishes. So, uh, you have you have the protein, you have your starch, you even have your vegetables. So it's actually one, one balanced diet or balanced meal all in one. At first, I don't believe that. People always say like, oh, because the customers say it's very good, then it's very encouraging. I didn't really believe in this. But actually, when you wake up very early and you put in a lot of effort into this shop, and then when customers come and give you feedback, oh, Pan Hao Si, very nice, thank you very much. It's quite heartwarming. Uh. Thanks for watching. Hope you drop by to Arcade Chicken Rice.